It was a dark and gloomy evening in the early 80s in the small village Peshawar. A family had recently moved into the village and was living with their relatives. They had sent their young son to the market to buy some groceries, but the child had forgotten and was busy playing with the kids in the neighborhood. As the evening approached, the child suddenly remembered his errand and decided to go to the market to buy the groceries. On his way back home, he took a shortcut through a desolate area that had a big old banyan tree. As he walked under the tree, he felt a sudden chill run down his spine. He looked up and saw a woman sitting on a branch of the tree. The woman had long, dark hair that seemed to flow in the wind. Her eyes were strange and seemed to stare right through him, leaving him petrified. The child mustered up the courage to walk quickly towards his home. However, he couldn't shake off the feeling that someone was following him. The child was petrified by the sight, but he gathered the courage to take heavy steps and walked speedily towards his way back home. Suddenly, he heard a sound like thud, as if someone had jumped from a height. He slightly turned his neck to see what had happened, and to his horror, he saw the woman walking fast towards him. The child started running as fast as he could towards his home, but the woman was chasing him. When he reached his home, he fainted and had a high fever for a couple of days. When he regained consciousness, he told his father about the woman he had seen on the tree. However, his family didn't believe him and dismissed it as an overactive imagination. A few days later, his father and uncle took him to the spot where he had seen the woman. They found the soil around the banyan tree to be soft and muddy, with long, deep and creepy footprints on the ground. His family was terrified and they warned the rest of the family never to take that route ever again. After that incident, the family never took that shortcut again. Even though the incident occurred decades ago, people in the area still tell the tale of the woman who jumped from the banyan tree. Her ghost is believed to roam around the area, and locals often shiver with fear when they talk about it. The incident has become a part of local folklore, and people believe that the woman was a vengeful spirit who had been haunting the area for centuries. The incident has left a deep impression on the minds of the people, and they still speak of it in hushed tones. Thank you for watching. In case you have a story that you wish to share, feel free to contact me by email at unit number 404 at gmail.com. If you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. Stay tuned and I'll see you soon.